KSP2 is now out in early access and whether you are happy or not with how the game is right now, you will have noticed that Dress has visible rings now. But what are the conditions required for Dress to have rings? Well in general, rings around planets are formed when an object like a small moon gets too close to the bigger body so that it will get ripped apart by tidal forces. Because when the small moon gets closer and closer, there will be a point where those tidal forces become stronger than the gravity that holds the moon itself together. The denser the supposed moon is, the more difficult it is to rip it apart. So denser moons would form rings that are closer to the planet than moons with lower density. So if we determine the distance at which the rings find themselves, we can calculate the density the moon had right before it was ripped apart. This distance is called the Roche limit and it can be found like this. Right at the point where the moon reaches the limit, the gravity that holds itself together and the tidal forces are equal to each other. Cross that limit and the tidal forces take over. With some rewriting of these equations we get this. We want to learn about the densities of the objects, so we can substitute the masses for the volume times their density, as density is mass per volume. When we do that we end up with this equation. But this assumes that the moon is a so called rigid body, which is not entirely the case. The so called fluid body approximation will look like this. So we want to know this value, the density of the moon. We already know the density and radius of dress, so we need to measure at what distance the rings are using this image. That gives us the Roche limit of the moon that would have been ripped apart in this case. And from that we can get the density of the moon. Rearranging and using the known values will result in this. A density ranging from 9.1 up to 10.8 thousand kilograms per cubic meter. Metals like bismuth and mol me molybdenum fall within this range. But this is not really fair, as everything in the Kerbal universe is 10 times denser than our real world counterparts. So if we divide this by 10, we get the density of the material or substance that it is supposed to be. This turns out to be around the density of water. So the rings of Dres were probably formed from an icy moon or a collection of smaller icy objects. And this is kind of similar to the rings of Saturn. The question that I still have is this. Is there a chance that the ice sublimates, that it turns from a solid into a gas when it is exposed to direct sunlight? That would cause the ring to disappear, right? Well, the distance where this starts to happen in the real solar system is about 5 astronomical units. This also happens to be the case in a Kerbola system with a temperature of 2840 Kelvin. It gives an output of around 54 watts per square meter. And in our solar system, it is about 55 watts per square meter. So one slight problem, Dress finds itself about 3 Kerbinian astronomical units away from Kerbal, so that would be too close. I might be missing something, but this is what my calculations tell me. If you have any other ideas that might explain the possible iciness of Dress's rings, then please tell me. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking, as these videos take some time to make.